Okay, so keeping up with our, our theme this month of going on Google Trends and finding out what the most searched topic is for weight loss, we have this month Mike Pompeo. He's no longer number one. Baby, it's 2020. He's been moved out of office. Don't start me with the political crap. I just needed a nice little transition into this topic. All right, let's start over again. It's 2020 all over again. Mike Pompeo has been moved out of office. The new number one topic on Google Trends is coffee and lemon juice for weight loss. When I, when I first saw this topic, it's weird. There's certain things that, that I hate using this word because it's so stupid, but that trigger me. And when I say trigger me, it's not like I get all upset and then people are supposed to feel bad for me and live their lives differently because God forbid I get offended or upset at something. It's not that. There's certain topics that I see that I just become this angry, holier-than-thou, pontificating, douchey shank. And I'm aware of that. And the other thing I'm aware of is that, that while it's maybe funny when sometimes, it's really hard to learn anything because you get, it just doesn't work, right? So I began thinking about how am I going to manage this topic and get a video on this without, without becoming that uncle who decides that they're going to give you a political lecture at Thanksgiving dinner or that aunt. It really isn't a gender thing, so knock it off. All right, the douches come in all shades of the rainbow and all identifications of who you think you are. No one group owns the douchebag title over anyone else. But I'm getting off topic. I was trying to think, well, how do I not be that douchebag? It's very hard. So I said, look, I'm going to think of something I was once told by one of the only things a fitness guru ever told me that ever made sense. He said, if you want to be able to communicate with people effectively and not become one of those angry trainers who's pissed off and can never get out of their gym, I don't know why I want to leave my gym. But anyway, whatever. The point being is no one wants to listen to someone who's just pissed off all the time. He said, you got to meet your clients halfway. You have to know where they're coming from. And you got you to talk to them on the level they're at. And I get it. A lot of you people hate weight loss. You hate exercise. You hate eating certain types of foods. And you don't want to put the energy, the effort, or the thought into it. I get it. All right? I feel the same way about Shakespeare. I really wish someone would just plug me in the matrix and like, like that, and all of a sudden I know Shakespeare. Oh, I know Kung Fu. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Whenever someone takes the time to explain Shakespeare to me and I can actually understand what the hell he's saying, it's so inspirational and so moving, I, I can't even explain it. Like, the other day, there was this, this Henry, the, Henry the V, and it was the Battle of, of, of St. Crispin, I think it was. And the, the British or the English were completely outnumbered by the French. And the king made this speech, and I'm reading, I'm like, what the hell is this guy talking about? And all someone said, no, 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 this is what this speech means. And he starts talking about, we're a band of brothers and that we'll be connected from this day forward because we've shed blood together. And all of a sudden, I was like, that's what that means? And I, I was ready to kill someone after hearing that speech. And I mean in a good way. I mean like in a Charles Bronson, getting rid of criminals and death wish one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven kind of way. The point being is I get where you're coming from. There are things that I don't want to put the work and effort in that I know are good for me. I know Shakespeare is good for me, but it just hurts my head when I read it. So I understand this is not your thing, and I understand why if someone comes along and says, drinking a cup of coffee with a squeeze of lemon juice in it will not only help you incinerate fat, it'll help you incinerate fat from your belly. And I understand the rage that it builds up in me and how I just want to exercise my finger flexors by choking people when I hear that. But I understand that gets us nowhere. So here's what we're going to do. The reason why is... The, the blinded me with science. The science of that makes absolutely no sense on just two simple things. This will keep the rage down, right? I start talking about molecules and stuff like that, and, and, and then all of a sudden it's like someone lit the fuse. So let's just keep it simple. Here's why coffee and lemon juice will not help you lose weight, specifically in any significant degree or long term. Except for two instances, but I'll get into that in a second. It's all about degree and tolerance. 
whenever you watch these TikTok videos, they're always talking about coffee has chemicals in it that release body fat. Coffee has chemicals in it that, that boost metabolism. And they'll say the same thing about lemon juice. So they'll say lemon juice has chemicals in it that reduce toxins from the body. Apparently you're walking around with like 40 pounds of, 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 of lead and mercury in your body. Uh, don't ask. Since you're not dealing with reality, you can make this up as you go along, right? It's like North Korea, right? Kim Jong-il shot 30, what, 39 under, I think Paul Budline said today, right? When you're, when, you're, when you're not in reality, you can make anything up. But it's a matter of degree and tolerance. Does coffee boost metabolism? Who cares because the degree to which it boosts your metabolism is irrelevant. Does lemon juice boost your metabolism? Who cares? To the degree it boosts your metabolism, it's irrelevant. It is not enough. I know there's a saying that it's the dose that makes the poison. I know Lane Norton talks all the time about you could drink enough water and it would kill you. There's a condition called hyponatremia where if you sweat enough and drink enough water, your electrolytes get out of balance and your heart stops. All right? That doesn't mean it's practical or realistic that water is going to kill you. Just like it's not practical or realistic that whatever coffee and lemon juice does to boost your metabolism and release chemicals in your bloodstream that release body fat, it's one of these, what is it? It's a logical fallacy. Yes, it does those things, but not to the degree you would notice any difference. And even if it made a difference, which it doesn't, even if we worked off that false premise, your body's tolerance to these things goes up. So then all of a sudden, the one cup of coffee becomes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cups of coffee. All right? You're drinking enough lemon juice, your urine smells like pledge. That's, that's the easiest way for me to explain this. The degree to which it does all those things with those TikTokers and all those the damn websites talk about, you always have to say to yourself, to what degree does it do these things and it is insignificant for weight loss? And even if it did work, which again, it doesn't, your body builds a tolerance up to it really quickly. The only way coffee is going to help you lose weight, and this is where I'm going to meet you halfway, right? And I'm not talking about the awesome Kenny Loggins song from Over the Top. Now, once I mention Over the Top, I got to put my hat on. Once I put my hat on, I got to turn the hat around because once Over the Top gets talked about, this sucker's like a switch, baby. It, it turns me into a, into a machine, into a truck. All right? I'll put it in the show notes so you understand where I'm going with this. There is one way that coffee will help you lose weight. Mix with lemon juice, mix with butter, mix it with whatever the hell you want to mix it with. Coffee, coffee makes you poop. That's how coffee can help you lose weight. So if you drink coffee and you're in a calorie deficit, you'll lose weight from the calorie deficit, but poop has weight to it. There are certain chemicals in coffee which actually do work to a certain degree, although you build tolerance up to them, all right? There is actually an amino acid, sorry, a peptide, it's not an amino acid, it's a chain, chain, of, amino, chain of proteins, right? In coffee, I think it's called a rexin, that, that stimulates peristalsis, the, the, the flow of poop, right? There's two other chemicals in coffee, one CCK, and I can't remember what the other one is off the top of my head. But again, they stimulate your intestinal tract. They help you go to the bathroom. That has weight to it. You lose weight. You don't lose body fat. You lose weight. And even that's only temporary until the next meal. That's how I meet you halfway. Now, there is another way that coffee can help you lose weight, and that's called the, the supermodel method, all right? This is basically Giselle before she met Tom and avocados, all right? You drink eight, nine cups of coffee a day. You smoke a couple packs of cigarettes, all right? And I don't mean smoke cigarettes. I mean like supermodel smoke cigarettes. Go, go Google supermodel smoking, and you'll see people who smoke cigarettes like I eat chicken parm sandwiches. They, they, it's like they're sucking the life out of it. Right, because they know they don't eat. Right, if you got a powerful appetite suppressant like massive amounts of coffee and max, massive amounts of nicotine, yes, that can cut down. But again, it all comes down to calorie deficit. And I'm not advocating you smoke yourself thin. I'm just trying to make a point 
that coffee does not help you lose weight, except for in those two exceptions. It makes you poop, and if you drink enough of it and do enough other stuff, you don't eat. What it really comes down to, why we, I'm not even going to get into this today because there's no way I'm not going to become the angry shank when I start talking about the concept of belly fat. I've already talked about the concept of alpha and beta fat receptors, it, ah, alpha and beta receptors in fat cells and how the body has different percentages of these receptors in different sites of the body. And a lot of people, especially men, but some women have body fat in their stomach area, which is incredibly rich in alpha receptors to make it very hard for the body to burn fat because the body does not care about how you look in a pair of jeans. It cares about survival. So the whole belly fat thing, I'm not, that's, I made a video about that already. What it really comes down to, what we should be discussing, is not coffee and lemon juice. What we should not be discussing is, 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 is awesome movie starring Sylvester Stallone. It's not even my favorite Stallone. Right. What we should be discussing is not coffee and lemon juice, which again, to the degree it does what the TikTok videos say and the towers are built up to it, it just doesn't work. We should be talking about long term calorie deficits. I guess that right. Long-term calorie deficits. That's what actually helps you lose weight. Not some secret chemical reaction of coffee and lemon juice in your body. Now, if drinking coffee and lemon juice is one of the individual strategies that helps you stay in a long-term calorie deficit, then yes, coffee and lemon juice can help you lose weight. But again, it's not because of some kind of biochemical nightmare it makes inside your body. Every video from here on out, once I'm done with this month of Google Trends, is gonna be about individual strategies to help keep you in a long-term calorie deficit because that's all that really matters. Right? For the supermodel, chain smoking and drinking coffee apparently is the individual strategy that helps them stay in a flat calorie deficit long term. It's not necessarily the best one you should engage in. But that's what it's all about. People are missing what's the, the thing, the fun, maybe it's a Shakespeare again, missing the forest for the trees. You're focusing on the coffee and lemon juice, and it's not even doing what you think it's doing, and it has nothing to do with what actually helps you lose weight, which again is long-term calorie deficit, finding the individual strategies for you. When you hear the vegetarian friend who won't shut up, when you hear the vegan friend who won't shut up, when you hear the meat-only diet friend who won't shut up, when you hear the zone or the blood sugar or the Atkins or whatever the hell this person's dietary preference slash religion is that they feel need to shove down your throat, all they're doing is telling you an individual strategy that they came up with that helped them stay in a long-term calorie deficit. That's all this stuff comes down to. Yes, coffee can make you lose weight because you poop, or it can be an individual strategy that you use to help curb hunger and keep your stomach full or help make you feel good. And that's assuming that you're not drinking those wacky coffees from Starbucks that have hundreds and hundreds of calories in them. So I think at this point, I'm just ranting and raving as usual. It's a 15 minute video, it's already too damn long, so let me just review. The number one video, Pompeo's been moved out of office, is coffee and lemon juice. Will it help you lose weight? Yes, but not in the way it's being portrayed as. The degree and your body's tolerance to building up to whatever it does makes it insignificant. But it can be, it can be an individual strategy that helps you manage what actually does help you lose weight, which is a long-term calorie deficit. So that's it. I'm sorry. This video is very disjointed today. My brain is somewhere else. I got Frankie and Lily here. I really, it sounds horrible. I'd really rather love them than make this video for you right now. 
but I need to make, and, and that's like, oh my God, what kind of fitness professional will tell you that? Well, it's just the way it is. And anyone who knows me knows that's true. And that's why the whole time, who's sitting over there right now? Lily's sitting over there sleeping on the couch, and I just, I just, I don't even want to be here right now. I just want to, I just want to, I just want to sit with her. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go sit with Lily. If the video wasn't that great today, I, I can't help it. People know what my brain works. Hopefully you got something out of this. And that's it. Um, yeah. Good coffee and lemon juice. It's crap. Okay, it could be crap. Or it could not be crap, but it doesn't work for the reason why. Let me just finish with this. All right. See if I can actually take this off of here. Let me go sit with Lily for a second. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know if it's lighted up enough. It might be enough. It doesn't matter. I'm going to sit with Lily anyway. All right. So, say hello. That's Lily right there. Let me turn this around. Maybe it'll give us some light so you guys can see. I guess this is the last part of this. Here's Lily. Hey, Lily. Hello. Say hi to the public. You're not interested, are you? Okay, Lily's not interested in the public. But I want to sit with her. The last part I'll just say about this video. Uh-oh. Yes, Lily, it's the last part, and then we go lie down. Yes, we go lie down. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. You're such a good girl. The last part I'll say about this video is if coffee and lemon juice, it really was that simple, that you drank coffee and squeezed some lemon juice, if that really did help you lose weight, if those, those pills that people take, the metabolism-boosting pills, if they really did work, if they really were part of the solution, it really was as simple as drinking coffee or taking a pill. Why the hell are TikTok videos even being made? Why is there a $48, $50 billion fitness industry? I don't even know what it's up to right now. All right, I'm not talking about over the top anymore so the hat comes off. It looks stupid on my head anyway. I'm 46 years old. Give it up. Your, your ship has sailed. If it really did work, why does anyone have a weight problem? Think for a second. I feel like Biff from Back to the Future. Think, McFly! Think. If it really was something that simple, why is... Lily does not like Biff from Back to the Future. If it really was that simple, why is everyone not lean? Why? Because it doesn't work. Because, while well, again, I understand there are things that you're just not interested in these topics and you want them to be as simple as possible. You also got to be effective. Coffee and lemon juice doesn't work. Lily's giving me a dirty look now. Are you ready to go to bed? Yeah, Lily's a kid. Are you ready to go to bed now? No more video? No? Okay. She's a good girl. Right. Frankie's already in sleep in the other room. He decided to have nothing to do with this video. So that's it. I will talk to everyone later. And thanks for joining me, Frankie and Lily. And goodbye.